station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Two Russian cosmonauts executed a flawless spacewalk on Wednesday. Flight engineers Yuri Melenchenko and Sergei Volkov accomplished all of their tasks in four hours and 45 minutes. The pair took a number of experiment samples, swapped out a few research payloads, installed some handles to help future spacewalkers get around, and even tested out a new tool which can glue special protection coatings to the outside of spacecraft. And one of the experiments they brought inside is looking to unlock the mysteries of how life spreads in our universe. The European Expose R2 payload tested the survivability of 46 species of bacteria, fungi, and arthropods in the harsh environment of space. A few were even in special compartments to mimic conditions on Mars where we're currently searching for signs of life. The purpose is to see how organisms are able to cope and survive in extraterrestrial conditions helping us understand how the seeds of life might survive the trip through outer space and even how they might have arrived on planet Earth. February is African American History Month, and to help celebrate, I'm joined this week by NASA astronaut Victor Glover. Take it away, Victor. Thanks, Dan. Since we're talking about spacewalks, I'd like to highlight one NASA spacewalker whose name is still in the record books. Bob Kerbeam joined the astronaut corps back in 1994 and flew on three space shuttle missions. On his final flight, STS-116 in 2006, Kerbeam completed a record four spacewalks during a single mission. He teamed up with crewmates to complete a major rewiring of the station's power system during the first three, and when one of the station's 110-foot-long solar panels got jammed when trying to retract, he headed out one more time to get it closed. Kerbeam retired in 2007 with seven spacewalks and more than 45 hours of spacewalking time to his name. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.